Alright, can I get up here? I keep forgetting that you can do the Batman shit in this game. Let me up. Alright, let's see if I can get across. Beautiful! All I need to do is bring back the parachute. Alright, actually, yeah, this isn't going to work. Let me just go down here. 5,000 now. See, look how much time this saves me. Alright, and done. This is probably like the biggest viewpoint so far. There's the murder mystery over there. Where is it? Right over here. And yeah, the leap of faith doesn't even take you all the way down. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Let me just grapple across. I forget, I don't have to go down to ground to, like, traverse gaps like this. Oh, there's an enemy below me because I said I could assassinate him. Alright, let's figure this one out. What is this, the courtship one? Dude, don't be a piece of shit. I'm serious, fuck you. And your fucking friend. Yeah, no it isn't. Alright, Professor Layton, and I don't even remember the guy's name from that game. They're back. Oh, was it the case of the courtship? A tragedy in the park. Another chance to sort out a diabolical conundrum. One that I'll turn into a one of many dreams. But okay, if they're gonna take forever, I'm just gonna go. We're going to the park. The park. Oh, is this the victim? Prudence Brown, a young woman with identifying papers, stabbed many times in a highly violent manner. Wounds indicate a left-handed attacker. Stabbed, brutal, and left-handed attacker. So whoever it was probably was not very pleased with her. 
Contains an appointment diary. 10 a.m. Trevor Park. Noon. Gilbert. His house. Well, no. I didn't ask about this. <laughs> so we have new places to look. The park packet. Powdered medication. So Trevor. What's the last clue? Oh wait, hold on. Here it is. She walked apparently. She might, or was this left by someone? There's blood. Looks like she was stabbed over here and bled out on the way over there. It's a standard kitchen knife. Okay. That is the murder weapon. What? That was a mistake. Let's be friends. Fuck my life. I thought I was supposed to talk with him. Oh my fucking god. That's right. Run into the smoke cloud. Thank you. I was totally fucking confused. I thought that you talked to him because he was part gold. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let's go to Dr. Alton's office. Here we're going to have a bunch of people to interrogate. Five clues to find. Dear Miss Knight, I would ask you to suspend Mr. Shelby's prescription. This note appears to be written by a right-handed man. So it couldn't be written by the same person unless they're ambidextrous. Okay, no, I'm not going to say anything. Whoops. Got to keep looking for clues. Why'd it vibrate? What's this? Papers or a folder of some kind. Ms. Brown came to see me, oppressed by grave anxiety concerning her recent engagement. This was not a medical concern. Mild sedative. She has since embarked on an irregular relationship with someone I shall not name. Since using this treatment, Mr. Shelby has overcome his paralyzing timidity with astonishing success. However, owing to the effects of the same drug on Mr. Baxter, Baxter, Baxter. I should go back and ask about this. Yeah, good thing I didn't even begin to talk to him. Right-handed writing, so probably the same as the guy down below. Again, more right-handed writing. All right, so let's see. Is there anything else on the third floor? Yes, indeed. And there's the doctor. The good doctor. Doctor, I hope that our professional relationship does not preclude a closer report. Closer report. Baxter now appears to be totally reliant on the treatment. He consumes far more than the prescribed dosage. He's become alarmingly aggressive to assault me physically. Furthermore, he has recklessly seduced several women over the past I've few weeks. I should ask more questions. All right, so that's everything here. At the moment, I'm not going to suspect him of anything. Could be a red herring. Wait, how do you get down to the ground floor? I want to interrogate those people first. to hear about her murder she was a patient here 
but increasingly began to stop by socially. Okay. Dr. Alton makes was... house calls to see him. Baxter doesn't come into the office. I make up the prescriptions and he picks them up at noon when I'm away at lunch. Okay. So she was meeting Dr. Alton in the park, was she? My understanding was that she was engaged to someone. In any case, the good doctor could do better, in my opinion. Perhaps now he will. So, I mean, they could be trying to say that she, he, she was slightly jealous because apparently they're in a more than professional relationship. I don't know any of Dr. Alton's other patients. Oh, that's it? I'm quite angry, actually. I was having such terrific results. I felt like a new man. Much more vigorous and outgoing. But the doctor has ended the prescription altogether for no reason. Okay, fair enough. That basically fits in with just about everything else. The only thing really to even suspect him on is that he says, I'm, I'm feeling more angry. Oh my god. Alright, sorry about that. Oh shit, how the fuck? I have no clue how to mute this. Thank you. Alright, my bad about that. Out of nowhere. I know I have a phone in my room now. It's it's completely different. Oh my god, Prudence. How horrible. I was about to propose. But I don't understand. She and I didn't have a meeting arranged today. It is true that we sometimes meet in the park, but there was no arrangement for this morning. Are you sure? Wasn't one of her logs like he, she was supposed to meet him at like 10? That's very odd indeed. Prudence was a patient here, but wasn't given this prescription. There's no reason that she should be carrying such a packet. All right. And the treatment. Sure that I cannot discuss the condition of any of my patients. That's not true from what I remember. Oh my god, I'm going to have to mute this every time. Alright, well, if, if it rings again, I'm going to have to go see what's going on. What, uh... Where was her handbag? Yeah, Trevor Park. We sometimes meet in the park, but then she says, oh, but then he says, no, they don't meet in the park at all. What? Oh, okay. That doesn't make any sense, and that sounds to me almost like a downright lie. But we have another place to go visit, so as of right now, I can't really make any judgment. I have to go to Gilbert's house now. Where is it? Oh, I'm kind of running. I need to go back and around the other way. Oh, this will probably do. I do apologize for that. I'm going to fix my phone after this. You have some, yeah, it's not fun, I know. Let's see what's in here. Only one clue. And one suspect. The suspects are always easy to find. The clue must be upstairs. Yep, I see it. Dearest Gilbert, I have something of utmost importance to tell you. I shall call tomorrow at noon. Please, Dr. Gilbert, and whatever I have to say, I always hold you in the highest esteem. Your prudence. And it gives Prudence's address. So yeah, it seems like she was about to break engagement to him and start it with the doctor. Alright, so let's see what they have to say over here.
How the hell? I have to break into it, basically. What the? What's up? Oh no, her house is up. There we go. Yeah, she didn't obviously didn't expect to die, so she didn't leave that shit open. Several entries stand out. I hold Gilbert in the in the greatest esteem, but I cannot simply imagine marriage and all it entails. I've seen so little of the world, I've begun to see a doctor in an attempt to calm my nerves and concentrate my mind. Dr. Alton is kind and gentle in, this, in the solicitous manner in which he listens is as beneficial as any medication. Oh, what a rapturous night. The timid Dr. Tre Al uh, Trevor Alton has surprising depths. His ardent kisses took my breath away. And then what of my engagement to Gilbert? Feelings for Trevor. It seems so silly to call him Dr. Alton now or as strong as ever, but mixed with concern. He's become moody, even tormented. I've told him I plan to break things off with Gilbert. Trevor and I are to meet in the park this morning. Is it a proposal? Or is a proposal in the offing? If, if he does propose, oh, please let it be so. I shall go to Gilbert and swiftly break it off of him. Okay, swift, well, swift, sharp break is best. Break engagement to Gilbert. A rapturous night with Trevor. Unsent letter to Dr. Alton. After I uh, set off for home, a young woman began to berate me. Involving someone named Baxter. So she wrote a letter that she never planned to send. Where is this guy I'm supposed to talk to? Oh, downstairs. Okay, probably like the landlord or something. Who's this? Oh, it's the wife of the doctor. Oh no, Baxter, not the doctor. You ask him yourself. He lives just that way. All in, all locations unlocked. There he is. I think I will in a little bit make the accusation, but I need to review the evidence first. Because a lot of it's very, it's a lot of different directions that the evidence points to. But the general idea is that she was seeing some, she was seeing some guy and was engaged to him and then broke it off. Because she wanted to be with the doctor. Where the fuck does Baxter come into play? Get out the way. What the? Oh, it's below me. Here we go. Baxter's house, paper packets. Yeah, he, he liked the drugs so much. He loved the drugs so much he couldn't contain himself. That's right. I always get what I want. It is it is my due, written by a left-handed man. I can't extinguish your life, so I shall extinguish hers. Written by a left-handed man. There's a spot of blood on the note. So Baxter isn't in a good spot right about now.
She has to break her engagement because of you. I won't have it. I shall marry her myself. At least that way she will remain a respectable woman. Written by a right-handed man. She means nothing to you. You are a monster of my own making. Written by a right-handed man. So that's, pro that's the doctor for certain. You're nothing but a burden to me, a pathetic sniveling burden. If only I could be rid of you. Written by a left hand. So they had, they had this big back and forth correspondence. And aha, look, this is where the murder weapon came from. Collection of kitchen knives identical to the one found at the crime scene. And one is missing. Alright, so now I need to re uh, reinvestigate an old suspect. If it's dim, I think that means I'm done there. So now let me go back to Gilbert's house. I don't know, because it kind of could be the doctor, I get the feeling, because he did lie about saying that there was no meeting this morning, but it very clearly, in like the third clue, states that they were supposed to meet earlier that morning. And also, they have those angry letters, maybe it's possible, but I might overthink this, because I almost over overthunk, is that overthunk, I guess, if you want to be sassy about it. Uh, one of the older ones in Assassin's Creed Unity... The one with the guy burning the papers behind his tent. I thought someone set him up. It turns out that I was overthinking that. Prudence and I are engaged to be married. I'm desperate to see her. She should be by any moment. She had something important to tell me. I'm worried she's going to break off the engagement. Oh, you don't have to worry about Prudence that anymore. So distant lately. I believe she has a misplaced affection for her doctor, the cat. I would make a much more appropriate husband, and the wedding is planned. I've never heard of such a man. Oh, that's all he has to say. He has no clue who Boxster... Boxster? Oh, my lord. It's getting that time of night. He has no clue who Baxter is. Alright, we'll review the evidence before I begin to accuse anyone. I don't think he did it. It doesn't make any sense that he would do it. In fact, he seems to be gracefully and blissfully unaware of everything. He suspects it, but he doesn't, you know, it doesn't seem like he's, he did it. Again, that monster of my own making, it's either Baxter or the Doctor, I would, I would go as far as to say. But it seems to me that if Baxter were to kill someone, he would kill the Doctor, because he wants to get, the Doctor is a burden he wishes he could be rid of. Oh, here we go. Mr. Baxter apparently attacked the doctor yesterday. It was after hours, but the doctor did have a cut on his cheek. Poor man. That medicine was developed by Dr. Alton specifically for one of our patients, Mr. Shelby. But he's been using it for another patient as well. Okay. Yeah, Baxter was... A, so Baxter probably already tried to get rid of him. He attacked him. Oh, whoops. Up, upstairs. Upstairs. Baxter already tried. The only thing that it would be is that he couldn't get the doctor, so he tried to get his lover. An unfortunate incident. One of my patients became overexcited. Okay. So that's it, is it? You have everything you need, or you have everything needed to solve the mystery and make an accusation. So that's all the clues. So now... It's time for the fun part of overthinking and trying to overthink my overthinking so that I'm not overthinking too much about overthinking. So, she was stabbed by a left-handed attacker. Many times in a highly violent manner. Small paper packet containing powdered medication, Dr. Trevor Alton. She was supposed to meet Trevor at 10 a.m. in the park. 
and then was supposed to go to Gilbert's house to break off the engagement. So basically her agenda was that she was going to meet with him, he was going to propose to her, and then he was, she was going to go immediately to her, her real fiancé and turn him down. And then that's the knife. Yeah, I don't think this has anything to do with it. I think that's a red herring. Miss Knight, I would ask you to please suspend Mr. Shelby's prescription. So this is the doctor saying that they we're cutting off this medication. Baxter is totally reliant. He attacked me. And he has seduced women over the past few weeks. So that's probably why Lulu is like all over the place. It's using the treatment. Mr. Shelby has overcome, however, owing to the effects of the same drug. Yeah, so he, he made this medication that worked on one person, didn't work on another. And yeah, so fuck that. She was just like, yeah, I don't want to use it at all. Miss Brown came to see me oppressed by grave anxiety. She has since embarked on an irregular relationship with someone I shall not name. Unless she was also seeing Baxter. And that would explain why Lulu was pissed at her. And that's why he can't name it. Oh, this just got more complicated. Here's Gilbert. I'm going to break off the relationship with you. Very simple. My feelings for Trevor. Yeah. Unsent letter. Dearest Trevor. Yeah, Lulu began to pester her. Baxter's knives. Baxter told the doctor, I wish I could be rid of you. Yeah, and then I guess the doctor wanted... So Baxter is involved with her somehow. Like, they were either seeing each other, and that's why this was not written to Gilbert. It was written to Baxter by the doctor. She plans to break her engagement because of you. I won't have it. So it's... I Fuck, I thought it was going to be the doctor. I always get what I want. It is my due, written by Baxter. And a very damning note by Baxter. So that's all the clues. Mr. Shelby, I believe, doesn't know any of the other patients. He was in remarkable progress. And then the doctor, I believe Mr. Shelby, 100%, he has nothing to do with this. So he lies about not having met her today. Or going to have met her. That's bullshit. That's a lie. Say so that Prudence was his patient, but never given a medication. Declines to discuss the condition of any of his patients. A cut on his cheek was due to one of his patients, but does not elaborate. So here's what I'm thinking. But first, I want to go down to Baxter. Lulu, an elusive man. Oh yeah, we don't know where this guy is. We have no clue where Baxter is. He's out somewhere wild. But I have all the clues, so he's not part of... Ironically, he's the most important part of this trial. Or, well, not this trial, this investigation. He's not a part of it at all. Claire Knight. Oh, Prudence was a patient to the doctor. Williams, the doctor, or sees Baxter only on house calls. Baxter picks it up when she's away. Prudence was engaged to someone else. And yeah, and Claire Knight is involved with the doctor. She wants to be with the doctor. So that's kind of, I guess, if you want to point the finger at her, it's because she was jealous. But I don't think there's enough evidence to conclude that. Believes the cut on Dr. Alton's cheek came from Baxter, although she did not witness this. Says the medication was dispensed by Dr. Alton for Mr. Shelby. And one other patient is taking the medicine. And Gilbert Higgins is completely unaware of everything. Never heard of Baxter, doesn't know of Prudence's death, and Prudence is attracted to the doctor. Her lover and Prudence kissing in the park. Baxter is her lover. So here's what I'm thinking, because Baxter is not here, so we have no clue where he is. He's probably out fucking actually committing a murder somewhere. What I believe happened is that 
the doctor got attacked by Baxter and he wanted to be rid of fucking Baxter. He was tired of him. So what I believe is, I believe it's the doctor. Baxter, we don't know where he is, but it doesn't seem like he would have done it because he was already involved with her. It seems more likely that the doctor wanted to be rid of Baxter. That's why he left the, 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 the package with the powder next to it and took one of his knives. So that seems to make the most sense to me. But that doesn't really explain why she believes that she was dating the doctor. I have no clue. She says that she created... I have no clue. Why would she believe that she's dating the doctor then? So who met her? Did they both meet her at the park? Because I don't think it's Baxter. We don't even know where this fucker is. So I, guess, I assume he broke into fucking Baxter's apartment. This is... Hmm. Yeah, he would have had to break into Baxter's apartment. Steal the knife, meet her, kill her, come back home, or come back to his office. Chill there. I don't understand why she's dating the doctor, but Baxter is after her, and she's dating Baxter at the same time. But I'm reasonably confident... That it's the doctor. Yeah, because she doesn't mention Baxter at all. Yeah, Claire Knight, no, she's innocent. First of all, I can't even accuse Baxter, can I? I just thought about that. Baxter isn't even a part of his own fucking case, so I can't even accuse him. So, it has to be the doctor then, because Baxter isn't even here. So I'm accusing him. Oh God, it's true. I it's him. The power unleashed a creature within me. He seduced the innocent Prudence and then killed her to prevent us from marrying. Oh, it's I fucking Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde bullshit. That's what it is. I knew something was amiss with the medical powder, but didn't understand until you found those papers. And that's why she never knew who picked up the fucking thing. Baxter exists, but never fucking actually took the paper. Okay, so that makes sense. That was a little bit hard to guess at. I just said you can't accuse Baxter. He doesn't exist. Doctor seemed to be so successful on one of his patients that he tried it on himself and created a monster. Going under the name of Baxter, this second drug-altered personality lived a wild, scandalous life, seducing women as he went. Unsuspecting Prudence Brown, believing him to be Dr. Alton, there you go, fell in love with Baxter. Baxter continued his seductions, which include the possessive Lulu, who later followed Prudence, planning to threaten her. Horrified by Baxter's actions, he resolved to marry Prudence in order to save her reputation. Baxter would not have his freedom curtailed in any way and murdered her. A crime for which Dr. Alton will pay the price. That was actually an interesting one. I probably basically, yeah, let me give that one five. That was the best one so far. Well, there's only been two, but that was one of, out of all the ones between this and Unity. That was great. You can't accuse Baxter, so it only makes... I guess that's kind of the other thing that drives you to the right person. You can't accuse someone who doesn't exist... He's not there, you can't find him at all.